my ACL was definitely something that was more challenging and extensive than I ever could have imagined. I tore it February 21st, 2024. I'm coming up on a year of therapy and strength training now, and it's just kind of became a big part of my life. Especially my sister, it was a grueling thing for her to go through. That's some of the saddest conversations I have as a sports surgeon, you know, telling a young athlete you tore your ACL, and for you, we know that really should mean surgery because the risk of re-injury is pretty high. That means almost a year of your competitive season lost. Sports are an important part to a, a kid's identity and we want to make sure that they can stay on the field, on the court, participating in the sports that they want to participate in. So athletes are participating in their summer strength and conditioning programs at their school. We'll come to their school for a few days during this program. We'll test them. It takes about 15 minutes to do the whole thing. We're bringing out some of our advanced technology to them. So devices that measure strength really accurately, devices that measure the way they move really accurately. We're looking at risky movement patterns, which have been shown in the past to be predictive of ACL injury. But again, we need a lot of kids going through these tests to be able to do that. We look at their strength, the way they move, what sports they participate in, their injury history, how often they participate in sports. When you're playing a sport, you know, there's so much going through your head. Um, at the end of the day, the last thing you may th be thinking of is the way your body is moving. Our goal is really to understand how these might influence why someone might get an ACL injury. And we feel like the more kids that we assess, the more we can pick out and then try to give them resources to address some of these movement patterns. Personally, I got hurt from landing wrong. And that's one thing I skipped out on in my training processes is the correct movement um, and landing. And, you know, I would have focused more on, um, you know, preventative strategies for myself before that happened, if I would have known. I just did it myself. Uh, I've never torn my ACL. and. It's, it's pretty cool to see what they can really target on and see what where your weakness is. Get in and do it. It's, it's pretty surreal to you know see that da data that they can collect. It takes us about a week or two to process all of that and then they get back a report that details what their risk factors might be and strategies they can use to work on those risk factors. It's became a big part of my life and I would encourage anyone to do anything they can to prevent this injury. I think it's a really good representation of what kind of things Sanford can do really well with their partner schools. I mean, this is a great example of working together in the community to try to better the outcomes for our athletes, right? This isn't to better Sanford, this is to better the lives of these young kids and try to prevent ACL injuries if we can.